Hello everyone. In this lecture today, I am going to talk to you about the structure of proteins. Protein structures has been divided into four different types. Primary structure, secondary structure, tertiary structure and quaternary structure. Primary structure of the protein is its amino acid sequence. What is the most common secondary structures are alpha helix and beta sheet. The tertiary structure of the protein is the three dimensional structure of the protein. Whereas the quaternary structure of the protein involves the interaction of more than one subunits as shown here. So what is primary structure of the protein? Primary structure of the protein is the sequence of amino acids because the proteins are made up of amino acids and the sequence of amino acids is called the primary structure. The secondary structure of the protein is resulted due to localized folding. Alpha helix and beta sheet are most common secondary structures of the protein. The tertiary structure of the protein is the three dimensional structure of the protein. The quaternary structure of the protein involves interaction of more than one subunits. So now let's talk in details about what is primary structure of the protein. The primary structure of the protein is its amino acid sequence as shown here met, well, proline, alanine, glycine, tyrosine and so on. So basically this is the simple sequence of amino acids. This is the primary structure and the sequence determine the structure and hence the function of the protein. So then how these amino acids, how this one amino acid here is linked to another amino acids, hence resulting in the formation of primary structure of the protein. So as you might know, this is the, this is the general structure of amino acid. Okay, here we have two groups. One group is amino group. Another group is carboxyl group and in the middle we have the carbon and this here is the side chain. So amino acids are they consist of two groups amino group and the carboxyl group. So then how one amino acids uh, interacts with another amino acids resulting in the formation of amino acid sequence. So as an example here. So this is one amino acid. This is amino acid one. We have here amino group. And this is the carbon atom with its side chain and here is the carboxyl group. Here is another amino acid. Okay, so how these amino acids are interacting. When this one amino acid interacts with the other one, uh, there is loss of water molecule and then we are left with C double bond O and H. So this particular part, this is the, this is the bond that joins one amino acid with the another amino acid and this particular bond is called peptide bond. Okay, peptide bond. So one amino acid is linked with another amino acid with the help of peptide bond. Okay, so this, this is how the arrangement of amino acid sequence occurs. How? Because of the formation of the peptide bond in between two amino acids. Simple, the sequence of amino acid is called primary structure of the protein. Now, let's talk about the secondary structure of the protein. Secondary structure of the protein is the repetitive folding of polypeptide chains by hydrogen bonds between hydroxyl group and the hydrogen molecule of the adjacent amino acid leading to the unique sh shape of the protein. The most common secondary structures of the protein are alpha helix and beta sheet. Okay, so then what is alpha helix? Alpha helix, it is a coil that is formed by hydrogen bonds between the carboxyl group and the amino group four places ahead of it. The strong bonds and the stability of this structure uh, give it a tensile strength which allowed it to form a shape seen in the DNA. So this is the structure of alpha helix. Okay, This is a helical structure like this. This is the structure of alpha helix and how this structure is formed that I'm going to discuss now. Let's say that this is the amino acid uh, the different amino acids which are linked with each other with the help of peptide bond. Here we have peptide bond 1, peptide bond 2, peptide bond 3, peptide bond 4. Okay. So then how the hydrogen bond, what is hydrogen bond and how it is formed? Hydrogen bond is formed between hydrogen molecule and the oxygen molecule. So here we have the oxygen molecule 
and the, the bond that is formed between the oxygen molecule from this carbon and the four places ahead. So we are talking about so he, uh, the, this this hydrogen atom and H. So here da da da. So between this, okay, the hydrogen bond formed between this carbon. So this hydrogen and um, oxygen of carboxyl group and the hydrogen atom uh, that is um, present together with the nitrogen atom. Uh, this bond formation, this hydrogen bond formation results in the uh, formation of alpha helical structure. Okay, uh, what is alpha helical structure? Alpha helical structure is uh, this helical shaped structure that is formed by the hydrogen bond between carboxyl group because in the carboxyl group we have oxygen atom and the amino group. In the amino group we have the nitrogen atom and hydrogen atom here. So th this of this hydrogen atom and this oxygen atom here this interaction between these two atoms results in the formation of hydrogen bond and this bond is responsible for the formation of alpha helix. So then what is beta pleated sheet? This is another most common secondary structure. This is also formed by hydrogen bond between carboxyl group of one amino acid and one, one sheet and uh, the hydrogen molecule of and amino acid on the other sheet okay so for these beta pleated sheet they can be parallel and anti parallel so when the beta pleated sheets are parallel so this is like this they will be parallel okay like this beta pleated sheets they can be parallel like this or anti parallel as shown here so then how these beta pleated sheets are formed these beta pleated sheets are formed uh, by the hydrogen bond between carboxyl group of one amino acid okay so basically carboxyl group of one amino acid and the amino group of the other amino acid okay so and the amino group of other amino acids so then the hydrogen bond hydrogen bond is formed between this oxygen atom and the hydrogen atom and this results in the formation of beta pleated sheet and these hydrogen bonds, they can be easily broken by high temperature and the changes in pH. Okay, the hydrogen bond can be easily broken by high temperature and the changes in pH. So, this is an anti-parallel beta pleated sheet and this here is the parallel beta pleated sheet. So, this one here is, is an example which, which, which shows both the types of uh, a secondary structure of the protein. This one here is the alpha helix and this one here is the beta pleated sheet. So now let's talk about the tertiary structure of the protein. The tertiary structure of the protein refers to the overall three-dimensional shape of the polypeptide chain. So this is the overall three-dimensional shape of the polypeptide chain. This is called tertiary structure. So in the tertiary structure, we have here as shown, this is alpha helix. We have here this primary structure, simple amino acid sequence. And we have here beta pleated sheet, this, this blue part. So this overall structure, overall three-dimensional shape of the polypeptide chain, now only one polypeptide chain, this is called the tertiary structure of the protein. Uh, this tertiary structure is stabilized by variety variety of interactions between amino acid side chains, including uh, hydrogen bonds, van der Waal interactions, ionic bonds, and disulfide bonds. Okay, so in the tertiary structure, the hydrophobic core is present inside hydrophobic core, and hydrophilic part is present on the outer side. Now let's talk about the quaternary structure of the protein. Quaternary structure of the protein refers to those macromolecules with multiple polypeptide chains or subunit. In the quaternary structure, we have more than one, okay? We have more than one, more than one polypeptide chain or subunits. As shown here, this is an example of hemoglobin structure. Hemoglobin has four different subunits. This is one subunit, this is another subunit, this is another subunit, and this is another subunit. And this is also called tetramer. If, if two subunit, this is dimer. Three subunits, trimer, and so on. So what is a quaternary structure? In the quaternary structure, we have multiple polypeptide chains or subunits, simply more than one polypeptide chain or subunit. And this kind of structure is called quaternary structure. In all the other structures, we have only one polypeptide chain, but only in the quaternary structures, we have more than one polypeptide chain.